Hey guys, today's video is all about the Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick. I used it for the first time today on camera, so I'm going to share my demo with you, the different ways I applied it, and what I actually think of the product and if I think it's worth picking up. So if you guys would like to see my review, demo, first impressions type of thing on this product, then just simply keep on watching. So the Quickie Contour Stick comes in super gorgeous packaging. You guys know I'm a sucker for beautiful, shiny packaging, and it's in this really gorgeous gorgeous gold metallic bottle and then it comes in this box here and on the box it says it is a contour with confidence it's easier than ever to contour sculpt and define your features with this soft bronze cream to powder contour stick natural looking soft matte finish blend seamlessly and long wearing and it's currently available from Sephora US for $28 as you can see there 28 buckaroos and then it is on Sephora Australia but <laughs> it's sold out and it's 49 Australian dollars for Sephora Australia but Sephora Australia they are like hopeless with keeping things in stock stuff sells out so quickly but it is also available from Adore Beauty which is another online Australian retailer it's the same price from there and you can also purchase it in Maya stores and at benefit counters if you have a benefit counter or a Maya near you definitely check them out so I suppose we'll just get into actually talking about the product itself now I applied it two different ways I used a brush and I also used a blender so when I first applied it directly onto my skin I felt like the product glided onto the surface of my skin it is super smooth super creamy and I put it on and I was like yep this is gonna be a breeze no dramas whatsoever so I started off by using the Sigma F04 F04 sorry zero I hate that saying O instead of zero like I mean the number not the letter O is a letter zero is a number get it together anyway so it's the extreme contour f04 brush and i knew straight away the second i started blending the product i knew i had failed i did not like how it blended with this brush whatsoever it made it go so patchy on my skin and i was literally like this is my good side because if you guys notice my hair is obviously part of this side so this is sort of the side of my face you guys see my makeup on so i was like Damn it, I like have a patchy contour on that side of my face. So I was like, it's okay, we can fix it up with some more product in a minute and some powder and everything. And then so I started blending around my hairline and I generally have like a lot of hair that sort of comes down from my hairline all the way down to my brow and I haven't plucked it in ages. I generally do pluck it a lot now because I find that like foundation and everything gets really caught up in it and a lot of cream contouring products and bronzing, bronzing can't talk and bronzing products do and guess what <laughs> I started blending with the brush and it just literally like had a massive little pat a massive little that doesn't make sense it had a patch like five cent sort of size little coin patch right there from where the product had lifted on the brush because of the hair so it's nothing to do with the product itself it's just yet again the brush incorrect tool and the fact that I have peach fuzz all over my face like I have a hairy ass face that is for sure so I really didn't like how it blended with the brush so I decided to move on to my left side of my face and I used the 3D HD Sigma blender this blender is everything and it blended my contour out so 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 nicely I definitely preferred how it applied with the 3D HD blender. So you can use any type of blender. It doesn't matter what brand it is, just as long as it's not too damp, because I think if it was too wet, it would be a little bit too much, but it definitely liked being blended by that particular tool over the brush, that is for sure. And then I made the mistake of not getting to this side of my face quick enough. So I found that this product sort of went from the cream consistency to the powder consistency very quickly. So when I tried to add more of the actual cream contour on top, that also failed, that was not a good decision. So I ended up just blending out what I had and I went in with my Hoola Light, which is my new favorite bronzer. I love this bronzer so much. And I use my Sigma Small Contour F05 brush, which is my favorite contouring brush as well. And I just picked up some of this powder and applied it around where it was a little bit patchy and tried to sort of even it out a little bit. I think it looks relatively even. I think there's this tiny little patchy bit in here, which could just be some dry skin, although I did exfoliate this morning, so it probably shouldn't be dry. 
But anyway, I think I saved it. I think it looks all right. It'll be interesting to see what it looks like on camera when I edit this back because at the moment in person it looks okay. So overall, I did really, really love the Quickie Contour Stick and when I ended up applying the powder over the top, I felt like they actually really balanced. I'm just trying to look for my words. I felt like it really balanced it out because the Quickie Contour Stick is actually very similar to the traditional Hoola shade. So it's much more warm tone and my hair just keeps sitting on my lashes. I'm like all over the place today, guys. <sighs> this is just me all the time. This is just what I'm like. So I just, we're just gonna have to roll with it. But the actual color of the Quickie Contour Stick is definitely much more on the warm side. So when I'm fake tanned, like I'm at the moment, I actually don't so much mind having warm contouring products because I think the fact that I'm a bit more tan, it doesn't look bad at all. But when I'm more on the paler side of things, I do steer clear of warm bronzing products. So if you're super fair, I don't know if you're going to love the color of this product, but the positive is, is it actually still gives you a very natural finish. Like it's not as dark as like my Clinique curvy contour stick. So speaking of which, I forgot to tell you how much product this actually has in it. It has 8.5 grams, which is actually more than my favorite cream contouring product. This has um, six grams. So it actually has a lot more product in it than the Clinique one. But I tell you what guys, like when you look at it, you might not think it looks like a lot, but in all honesty, like you're not gonna use all this product before it expires unless you literally cream contour the chisne out of your face like every day. You are not gonna use all that product. That is more than enough product in a cream contouring stick. In my opinion, that's gonna last you, well, like that'll expire before I use it all, put it that way. Like I feel like I could use this every weekend and I still wouldn't use all that stick because you don't really need too much. And then like I was saying, it's not, when you put it on, it's not an incredibly dark product like compared to my Clinique Curvy Contour Stick. This is much dark and I feel like I get a much more harsh contour on it, with it, on it, with it with it. I get a much more harsh contour with it. So when it comes to the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick, if you actually are wanting to use a cream contouring product on an everyday basis, I would recommend this product for that because it just blends out so nicely and the fact it blends down to a powder finish, you don't have to set it if you don't want to. I personally feel compelled to set any cream contouring product I put on my face, even if it does dry down to a powder finish. I don't know why, it's just like something in my brain is like, Hannah, you have to put powder on. And today I definitely had to, like there was no way I could leave it just because this side was patchy AF and I was not feeling it. But now I'm all finished and put together, I'm definitely feeling it much more. So I wanna definitely try it again tomorrow. I'm gonna to like shave my face tonight because seriously, this hair around my forehead, like, oh, it's causing me all sorts of dramas. I noticed it last week and I don't know why I didn't do anything about it then, but anyway. Just trying to think what else I should tell you guys. I ended up applying my um, California blush and also my Dandelion Twinkle Highlighters on top as well. The blush blended beautifully into the contour. And then the highlight went on really nicely. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's such a pretty highlight. It's very much a more natural highlight, but I absolutely love it. But both products apply beautifully in conjunction with this baby. Yeah, so overall, I would say that if I was recommending one over the other, I would still recommend to get the Hoola Light over the Quickie Contour Stick just because I really like the shade of this. I personally can use it whether I be fair or my tan shade. Whilst with the Quickie Contour Stick, I feel like I wouldn't use it when I had no fake tan on. I would only use it when I'm fake tan, so it's a little bit more limited for me then considering I'm naturally quite pale. But if you're more on like the medium skin tone side of things, I think you'd really, really like this. But I would still prefer to spend my money on the Hoola Light. So like, let's say tomorrow, if I smash both of these and I could only afford to purchase one of them again, it would be the Hoola Light. Like I would literally grab this in a heartbeat. I still really love this product. It's just that I prefer this for myself personally. So other than that, 
don't really know if there's anything else I needed to fill you guys in on other than the fact that I can't speak as per usual. If I forgot to mention something or you have any questions at all, please do feel free to comment below and I will get back to you. If I have any other further updates, I'll leave them in the description box for you guys. I'll also leave some links of where you can purchase these products from and I think that's about it. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video, leave me some comments and of course subscribe if you haven't already and I'll be talking to you guys really soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.